Hello dear students first of all thank you for enrolling in this course since you had enrolled this course that means you are very much interested in electronics so those who had studied from me like uh, those who had studied uh, are part of course 1 and course 2 they know in how much detailed way i am explaining the concepts uh, regarding electrical circuits and electronics and uh, stuff related to that so let me tell you if you are uh, if you are joining this co uh, course for your first time so I am making series of electronics from basic to advanced level okay and this is course 3 and from this particular course we are going to deal with analog circuit design part part 1 so this is the name of the course and in this particular course we are only going to deal with uh, two components that is diodes and capacitors so for like uh, like uh, by looking at these two particular components you will think that it is very much easy and uh, like it may take somewhere around one or two hours but let me tell you my dear students it will uh, consume more than four to five hours okay it is going to consume more than four to five hours. so this is my word to you all guys i'm going to explain the things or stuff related to it in much much detailed way okay so you need not worry each and everything would be clear at the end of this particular uh, course okay so moving forward let me introduce myself to you all guys uh, so my name is swarit mahal sikar and I am a biomedical engineer uh, uh, like I had completed my uh, I, I will complete my engineering in 2022 <coughs> excuse me sorry but uh, yeah I am studying in Mumbai University from uh, Vidyalankar College Vidyalankar Institute of Technology and uh, I had tutored on various sites like uh, tutor me then uh, uh, Udemy I am tutoring in Udemy as well as of now then I had tutored on Core Zero and many other uh, equivalent platforms uh, I have two years of teaching experience, especially in field of analog electronics, like BJT, uh, where I will be explaining you, uh, like BJT's transistors and all in the upcoming courses. So you need not worry about that. And if you want to test uh, my teaching experience, you can visit my website www.practicalbody.xyz. This is my own website, and there I had explained most of the things in much detailed way, and I had also uh, you know even made various project I had also made various projects in on this particular site so it's my request to you all guys please do visit on this particular site you will surely enjoy it and if you have any doubts or if you have if you face any difficulties uh, like uh, in, in any of the concept related related to electronics or analog electronics especially so you can mail me on this particular mail id this is my mail id practicalbody620 at direct gmail.com i will surely reply you okay so you need not to worry absolutely you, you, you need not to worry about anything you will surely enjoy each and everything uh, which we are going to discuss in this particular course okay so before going uh, to the introduction part of this course i would like to uh, tell you what we had completed okay and uh, like what uh, like what all things we had completed how they are related to this particular course okay so let's start so in course one course one was basically dealing with conductors conductors okay so there we had actually uh, you know seen various concept like uh, resistors okay resistors then what is current what is voltage etc and uh, we had also studied various theorems and complex various complex electrical circuits and then we had seen uh, theorems like mesh super mesh nodal analysis <coughs> sorry then uh, thevenin's theorem uh, Norton's theorem etc and most importantly we had implemented lots of circuit on the Thinkercad software okay uh, which is very basic software of course it is uh, designed for uh, beginners so we had also seen that particular software okay then uh, we had uh, studied like the course 2 was dealing with semiconductor semiconductor So in course two, we deal with uh, semiconductors where we had learned what is semiconductor, then uh, difference between conductors, insulators and semiconductors with the help of energy band diagrams. Okay, then we had also seen the what is doping and uh, uh, like uh, what uh, like the energy band concepts for different different materials. And at the end, we studied the internal structure of PN junction diode and many more concepts. Of course, that was again a six hour lecture, sorry, six hour course. So let me write over here. This was around 10 hour course and this was around 6 hour course. So we had completed in all total 16 hours of conceptual learning 
plus practical implementation as well that means we had implemented some of the circuits on the tinkercad software as well so now we are going to deal with analog electronics okay analog electronics but this is part one since this is part one so i would like uh, like to write uh, analog electronics part one in uh, in short form i would be writing analog electronics part one okay part one of course and let me tell you how the things are going to work see we studied conductors we studied semiconductor okay so analog electronics was derived or it was uh, you know uh, uh, like uh, generated from the semiconductor okay it, it was derived from semiconductor like uh, you know uh, uh, n n type and p type semiconductor when we fused together at the end of this uh, semiconductor we saw what we saw pn junction diode the concept of pn junction diode okay and from diode we we are going to transistor from transistor we are going to higher level ic's okay like op amps and all so we will see that particular things in the further courses okay but pn junction was the basic introduction from the semiconductor so basically analog electronics is a mixture of what i can write is a mixture of what semiconductors analog electronics is a mixture of semiconductor okay plus plus what it is a mixture of conductor why conductor let me tell you conductor okay so you had design let's suppose if uh, let's let suppose i don't i sorry i know that you uh, don't know most of the things about it but still just to give you give you a brief idea how the things are going to work in this particular course i'm going to write something over here most of you might be who will see this particular video they might not get very much well acquainted with it okay but you did not to worry i am i'm i will be explaining this concept really in great depth after some time but as of now just think that let's suppose uh, you have semiconductor and by doping you had made this particular pn junction diode okay but this pn junction diode is of no use un unless and until you are not providing it a voltage supply that to in forward bias okay and let's suppose if you are providing uh, let's suppose if you are providing more than suppose 20 volt okay so for sure let's suppose for sure this pn junction diode can't handle this particular 20 volt so obviously it is going to what it is going to disrupt okay or it is going to damage okay and we won't be getting the desired current from this particular circuit so the desired current can't be app current can't be we can't get it okay so can can't be obtained can't be obtained desired current or maybe anything desired voltage or the uh, you know faithful working of this particular circuit can't be obtained so what we are going to do over here uh, we are placing let's suppose we place <clears throat> let's suppose for example we place a resistor in series with diode so that resistor will actually decrease the flow of current okay and it will actually save this diode for bu from burning okay so now let's suppose if i want to calculate the value of the current which is flowing through this particular circuit how i am going to calculate so for this i will be applying what i will be applying kvl kirchhoff's voltage law and this particular thing we had studied in course one that is semiconductor okay and this particular thing that is semiconductor that means pn junction diode how the pn junction diode is formed that we had studied in semiconductor okay and to analyze whole of the circuit analog electronics is formed that means you know in this particular in this particular course or not exactly in this particular course we this is kind of uh, a part one okay since this is part one so let me give you an idea so like you know you might have heard the word amplifier okay amplifier then switches etc okay so all these words we are going to see how exactly the circuits are behaving okay you know what if we change the voltage by some amount how the circuits are behaving all of these things we are going to see in this part one okay most of the things okay as far as diode and capacitors are concerned we are going to see this particular thing in uh, part one of this particular course of analog electronics so i hope that you got a brief idea like uh, what all things or how exactly the things are going to work as far as this particular course is concerned okay so let me move forward
okay so these are some of the things which we are going to see in this particular course first of all the introduction part or the revision what we had studied in course 2 okay that is semiconductor semiconductors so basically we there in part sorry in course 2 we saw the internal structure of pn junction diode internal structure of diode so there we saw the internal structure of diode and obviously the forward bias and reverse bias condition as well so most of the things we had uh, seen there but yes i would be revising that particular concept here as well okay then uh, yeah i would be taking the uh, you know uh, explaining the circuits with the help of one software which is known as electric circuit studio okay this is this is the name of the software yes and it is the main reason why i am going with this particular software is that you can actually sim sim simulate uh, this particular circuit on your smartphone it doesn't mat matter what a uh, smartphone you have okay it would be getting s uh, simulated in this particular smartphone and at the same time it would be getting simulated in pc as well in your pcs or laptops okay so you did not to worry about it and um, yeah it is available on play store i will be telling you after right after this particular video i would be uploading one video and uh, there i would be telling you that you know how to download the software okay uh, with the help of mobile and obviously with the help of uh, in the with the help of pc as well okay so you need not to worry about this particular software and again like it is very much easy to use software its interface is pretty easy anyone can uh, learn that particular software within a day or two so you need not to worry about this particular software it is absolutely cakewalk software then uh, the third uh, part which we are going to deal in this particular course that would be the diode characteristic the vi graph and all and the current equation okay so this is what we are going to see as in the third uh, third part or the third lecture of this particular course okay and uh, the fourth part basically we are going to deal with the numerical uh, approach okay basic numericals on diodes okay then obviously in fifth part we are going to see the clipper circuit because these two things are quite interrelated to each other they both are interdependent or rather the clipper circuit is is much more dependent on the basic numerical part okay then after clipper circuit we are going to deal with capacitors okay so like how the capacitor behave and what is the importance of capacitor in like uh, if we join uh, or if we you know uh, <coughs> uh, join uh, uh, diodes with capacitor and, or, and resistors how the circuit is going to behave so that particular circuit is known as clamper circuit and we are going to study the clamper circuit in our lecture 7 and at the end we are going to study zener diode okay working of zener diode and like how the zener diode is formed and all so basically we are going to see this thing at the end of this particular course so i hope you understood all of the things that what we are going to study and what we had studied earlier so it's my request see these are the prerequisite of the course that is conductors and semiconductors if you don't know anything about this two particular topic then my you might suffer here okay in this particular course so it's my request to you all guys we had completed 16 hours of the conceptual learning conceptual plus technical learning okay we had simulated lots of uh, circuits i hope that like uh, i had seen most of the courses they just uh, bluntly go with the conceptual learning okay they just uh, try to solve the circuits but we had also implemented most of the circuits on the thinkercad software okay uh, in course one obviously in course two we just saw the conceptual learning about uh, semiconductor since we don't have you know labs and all to show you how the things are going to work in the and obviously you will require a microscope of high efficiency to uh, you know deal with semiconductor but yeah as far as the basic knowledge about semiconductor is concerned i had completed that part in course two so it's my request to you all guys first complete this particular 16 hours of course okay and then come to this particular course that is course 3 that is analog electronics okay so yeah and let me tell you that how these particular things are interrelated so this is very last thing i would be telling to you and actually i had not planned to tell you this thing but yeah i feel that it is very much important to tell you so see uh first like we deal with conductors okay then we deal with semiconductor semiconductor i'm not writing everything i will just write full uh, sorry short form and with, with the help of both we we are dealing with analog electronics 
analog electronics okay and digital electronics was introduced because of analog electronics so your digital digital electronics was introduced because of analog electronics so are you seeing the you know uh, like how the things are going we first studied conductors then we studied semiconductors now we are going to study analog electronics of course that I, I, like i had bifurcated analog electronics into three parts here we are going to study diodes and capacitors diodes and capacitor okay in the course two we are going to study transistor that is vjts okay then uh, mosfets etc okay and here we are going to st study some specialized ic like opam and then instrumentation amplifier okay instrumentation amplifier okay and after that we are going to enter digital electronics because your and gate your nand gate okay they are formed with the help of this particular bjts okay or the uh, mosfets not bjts because in today's world we are not at all using bjt okay like in the today's world or in today's market bjt has no value okay because there are a lot of factors which we will be dealing in course two and at that time i will explain that why mosfet uh, is more important or it is why why mosfet is more efficient than bjt okay so basically your and gate or gate nand gate okay so your gates gates that is and or nor etc whatever gets that is i hope you might know this and even if you don't know you need not to worry we will see this in upcoming courses these gates are formed with the help of mosfet okay with this gate are formed with the help of mosfet and to understand mosfet you need to understand the working of diodes at least you should have a basic idea of diodes and capacitor okay and to understand this you should have a basic idea about semiconductor like how the uh, like what is p type and n type semiconductor okay and what if we fuse to get the uh, fuse to uh, fuse them what is going to happen and if you like if you have a good idea of semiconductors that's good but you should have a basic idea of conductors as well so conductor is uh, something special that means your kvl kcl and all kvl kcl etc okay so there are many more things which are present over here okay so with this uh, uh with the help of all this you are going to digital electronics and from digital you are going to controller and from controller you are going to microprocessor okay so this is how i had planned this particular uh, courses so yeah now i hope you got a clear cut idea that how the things are going to work as far as this particular course is concerned and the upcoming courses uh, 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 okay so i really hope that you understood this particular introduction video i know this although it was an introduction video but i had given you the brief idea about uh, the electronic scenario like how the things are going to happen in future okay so i hope you really understood each and everything okay as such there wasn't any understanding part over here but i really hope you understood the overall scenario okay or the basically the uh, you know the uh, things that how they are going to work okay and how they are interrelated to each other okay so yeah thank you for listening me patiently i am ending this video over here thank you